Yo, Ian is straight up exposed by, you know, Ian is straight up just exposed for being, you know, just a, a ye clone and also stealing a scene from Meat's music video. You know what I mean? And Ian is considered as the the underground's Jack Harlow. You know what I mean? And this this whole new scene, some people have given him different comparisons, like a like a ye clone. You know, you can really see the comparisons there in so many different ways. Let me let me just explain to you. First of all, you know, both of them are straight up rap or straight up white rappers, you know what I mean? And they you know they both have a interesting rise. They both came from a really good family, which I I respect so much, you know what I mean? Yeet was was kinda looked upon before he was like really blowing up as a rapper as kind of like a like a nerdy white kid and then Ian was kind of looked upon as you know a white kid but more of like a like a jock type vibe you know what I mean he apparently played rugby there's not too much known about him I think he was on a rugby roster last year or whatever but I guess kind of back to my to my point is in the music video of Poppin and figure it out they both have a, a scene with cars in the background some people could say it's a bit of a stretch but you know they both have a lyrical lemonade music video which is you know under cole bennett the only difference is a poppin video with yeet was directed by directed by cole bennett and the one by ian is directed by someone else and apparently cole bennett doesn't actually direct music videos anymore he's kind of working on a bigger project some people may think it's just because you know he's just focusing on movies or something like that like you know he's he's worked with like any everybody like like eminem juice world uh little uzi vert little skies you know the list just goes on he's blew up a lot of different artists off the channel and this is just like a straight up really good look for ian you know but yeah, the comparisons are definitely there. Like, like, like I was saying, like, there's so many similarities, and not to mention, I also forgot to bring this up. They also make very similar to the same, like, kind of the same cadence. I wouldn't really say cadence, but kind of the same sound. You know, like he kind of started off on the the rage sound and shit. At least when he started like blowing up with Get Busy. And Ian doesn't necessarily rap over rage beats, but he kind of raps over these these new age type beats a little bit different though and kind of has a similar pocket to yeet in a sense and you know just kind of the fast flows clever lines and stuff like that some people even say that um ian is lyrically better than yeet and that's questionable as Ian only has like four like four like mainstream songs out i was listening to some of his his older shit on soundcloud and apple music and he was good he kind of sounded like he was He's a bit of a destroy lonely type clone, whatever. Yeah, I think he's been making music for a little bit now. But it's just very interesting that they use kind of the similar background. I don't know if he use if he use kind of the same car background just to kind of almost I wouldn't really say praise Yeet, but kind of kind of be like, yeah, like Yeet's definitely an inspiration. You know what I mean? But it's it, it could definitely be a bit of a stretch. It could definitely be a bit of a stretch. But I don't know. I definitely think Ian Ian just has a lot of potential. I think he he just needs that one song that hits the billboards and just takes off. Like he has a persona, he has everything going for him. So I think he has a huge upside to his career and he just makes really really hard music like Grand Slam, figure it out. What's another one? Grand Slam goes hard, like the beat on it is just like it just goes so dumb. Like I, I, I like it so much. And yeah, he's dropping a mixtape pretty soon. Yeah, so he has Wimbledon, Figure It Out, and Grand Slam. All three for three with his singles that he dropped. And obviously, he's been exposed as being a quote unquote industry plant. You know, has the same management as Four Bats and shit like that. But man, I think Ian just has so much potential. And. At this point, I I really thought he was he was gonna be in the the twenty twenty five XXL freshman list, but kind of seems like he'll be in the the twenty twenty four XXL freshman list. Like I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised at all after he drops his project. 
And I think the XXL freshman list is coming up pretty soon. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, Yeet. Uh, Yeet's my favorite. That's why I just keep bringing him up. But Yeet didn't end up... He ended up turning down the XXL freshman list, which is understandable. But, like, I, I, I kind of like the idea of, like, some of the bigger artists, like, actually being on the XXL freshman list. Like, I kind of hate it when, like, a lot of artists turn it down. Like, even Cardi was on there. X was on there. Juice was too big for it, I guess. But... I think it's just kind of dope and like all the different artists from the different sounds kind of all grouped together to be like on the same the same list whatever so i hope ian doesn't turn it down i hope he's on this year or next year but kind of looks like he'll be on this year's list you know what i mean